a Snickers bag for a medium sized one. Now, I was watching Total OS today, yesterday, on his live stream, and Solus OS was voted best distro of the year, apparently. I missed most of it, unfortunately. But yeah, and a very good choice it is too. Now, I first reviewed Solus in February 2012, okay? Long, 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 long time ago. I think it was even a release candidate. So that goes back, back, back in the day. And it has matured into a really, really nice system. Let's be honest. Very, very, very nice. With quite a reasonable sized team now as well. Mm. So I thought, we'll install Solus OS 3, which is here on a full hardware install, and see how we get along. Okay. And very nice it is too. Okay, here we go. I'll just go a quick look for you, then we'll play around with it later. Okay. So you've got the usual menu here. I've changed to the dark theme because it actually looks better. The bright theme is just too bright on my old eyes. Okay. Accessories, you get the usual. You don't get too much in apps or programs, to be honest with you, but you can just add what you want. At the end of the day, that's what they're doing. Now remember, it's built from scratch. Yes, from scratch. So Firefox is your default browser. Hex chat you get. Chunderbird and transmission. These are all standard. Full LibreOffice suite and a calendar. Programming, I've actually installed Bluefish for when I want to do some stuff. Very good here too. I do like using Bluefish. Yeah. So that's one thing I installed myself. Sound and video comes with GNOME, MPV, and Rhythmbox. I don't like Rhythmbox too much, but see, then again, you can install exactly what you want. Now, I've installed a simple screen recorder, so I can do this now and show you, okay? And the sundries, just your bus settings and your print settings, okay? System settings, loads and loads and loads here. I've installed the proprietary drivers from my NVIDIA GTX 970 on here. Works fine, no tearing, no nothing. Nice and smooth. I was using uh, OpenSUSE the other night, and that's a really smooth distro. This is very, very similar in desktop, okay? Very similar to use, in my personal opinion. It's it's not snappy-snappy, but it's quick. So I don't like OpenSUSE too much because it's like... It seems to take a while, and I don't like KDE, really. It's, it's not my favourite in the world. Anyway, moving on. That's much of my views. Budgie desktop settings. You can change your widgets, your icons... We've got Papyrus here at the moment, so if I change them to Adwaitia, as you can see, they change down the bottom. Okay, we'll go back to Papyrus, because I rather like them. It's okay. Change your cursors. As you can see, dark theme, built-in theme, animations you can turn on and off. So if you're struggling with it, say you've got an old machine and it's really struggling, you can turn them off, so that'll be a bit easier for you. And your desktop, you can change all these settings as well, and fonts, and your windows the panels, or create another panel. So if you want to put a little panel on the side here, or up the top, you're all welcome to. Nice and easy, really, isn't it? Hey, where was I? Oh, yes, just going to talk some. You get Decoff Editor, Gparted. I installed HChop, just so you can see what's going down on my system here while I'm recording. And very nice it is, too. Right. Out of the box, it's, in my system, it's using between 800 and 900 mega RAM, which is nothing these days, really. I'm recording now, and it's only using 1.6. Now, unfortunately, like a lot of distros still, when you do a hard drive install, it basically copies the amount of RAM to swap. Now, this system here, I've got 32 of RAM, basically. And so it's given me 32 of swap. Rather, rather large. Yeah, I know. It's a bit too large, if you ask me. But they can be worked on in the future. We've got under other NVIDIA settings. Let's have a look. So you can see it's all here. Yeah, 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 yeah. My GPU, yes, it's all doing stuff. Thermal settings, yeah, it's all does what it says on the tin. What else would you think it would do? I'll open up the Fox, and as you can see, it's reasonably fast. Now, I haven't actually read this week in service of this week just yet, but I know they do a lot of work with these snaps or flat packs. It is snaps here, isn't it? Or their implementation of it. And it seems to be going really well for Steam. So what I will do tomorrow, I'll install Steam and see how we go. Some of the games here, I don't actually play, to be honest with you. But it probably work fine. I'm not going to complain about it. It actually gives you the, inst the installation instructions here to do it, to install their own snaps, okay? But obviously, do so at your own risk. Oh, it's, it's some no, known issues here, that's okay. Home for Steam, blah, 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 blah. You can do what you want. Right, now he's going to release Solus 4 soon. So this is why I wasn't going to keep this one basically too long. Just so you can see what's going down. There's not much more to say, except it is a really nice experience to use. It really is. What more What more can you want out of it, really? At the end of the day. I'll open up LibreOffice for you, the writer program. Bish bosh. Done.
See? Nice and seamless. What more can I say? So as soon as we get Solus 4 released, I will put it on this machine and tell you how it runs. 5 out of 5 though, yeah. is a good choice for Destroy of the Year from Toto OS today. Good choice. I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it at all. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.